Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, dear viewers and students. Welcome back to our learning symposium on air for the subject commercial correspondence. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about styles of typing and punctuations in the business letter. Dear students, upon finishing this lesson, you're expected to be clear with the following. Styles of typing, full block style, block style, and the indented style. Two, punctuation. As we discuss the main and secondary parts of the business letter, we should also be familiar with the important issues in order to come out with a good looking and clear letter. In light of this, we will discuss several issues as different styles of typing and punctuations used in today's business letters. Now, dear students, we start our lesson with the first point, styles of typing. Business people know that the appearance of their letters can either enhance or undermine the effectiveness of the letter. That is why companies are concerned about what style to use. In fact, there are several styles that can be used in arranging a business letter. These styles are 1. The full block style 2. The block style 3. The indented style 4. The semi-block style 5. The hanging indented style However, our main focus will only be on the first three styles because these are the basic style generally recognized in typing business letters. Let us now see the first typing style known as the full block style. In this style, also called complete block style, we find that all parts of the letter, except the printed letterhead, begin at the left margin without any indention. One advantage of this style is that it saves more time because indentation is not required. But this style has also one disadvantage. It's about the general look of the letter, which appears unbalanced and heavy on the left side. This is because all the parts of the letter, except the heading, are placed on the left side of the letter. Let's have a look of this style of typing. Now, dear students, as you see in this example, you find that all the parts of the business letter are placed on the left margin of the letter, including the main and the secondary parts when needed, of course. So you notice that only the heading of the letter, which is the address of the sender, is placed right in the middle of the letter, while the other parts are all placed on the left margin of the letter. Now this is all about the main parts and some other times companies might also need to use different parts as the secondary parts. And this is why it considered as a disadvantage using this, type of, this style of typing. The point is the companies are trying to use this style because no indentation and that it saves time. The only problem with this style is that it looks heavily balanced on the left side. The second type is called block style. This is a very common and widely used style today. It takes its name from the fact that inside address, the salutation, and the paragraphs of the letter are arranged in blocks without indention. The block style is different from the full block style in one thing. In the block style, only the date, complementary close, and the signature are placed on the right side of the letter. Other parts are typed on the left side of the letter. Now, the space between the parts of the letter is doubled. For example, there is a double space between the inside address and the salutation, and another double space between the salutation and the body of the letter. However, there is only a single spacing within the units. For example, one space between the lines in the inside address and one space in the individual paragraphs. 
This style of typing is very common and widely used by many companies due to the following advantages it has over the other styles. First, it saves time because each part of the letter except the date, the complementary clause, and the signature is aligned with the left margin so that no time is consumed by indention. Second, unlike the full block style, this type gives the letter a more balanced appearance since parts in the letter are placed on both sides. Besides, the wide acceptance of the block style at the present time among companies offers assurance that letters arranged in the block style are modern. Look at the following example. Now, look at this example, dear students. You notice that we have all the main parts of the business letter, but actually not like the full block style. We notice here that some of the parts, specifically the date, the complementary clause, and the signature, are placed on the right side of the letter, while the other parts, including the inside address, the salutation, and any other secondary parts that might be used will be placed on the left margin of the letter. Of course, like the other typing style, the heading, which is the, inside, which is the address of the sender, is always tied right in the middle of the letter. Now, what gives this a special concern is that it gives the letter a more balanced shape. As you notice that some of the parts are placed on the right side, the other parts are placed on the left side. So this is widely and commonly used by companies as it looks much better than the full block style. Regarding the time, it does also save time like the full block style because simply no indention is used here. And that the blocks used, like the inside address, the heading, and the paragraphs, are arranged in blocks without indention. So this is considered as a modern and commonly um, amenable for use by companies and huge companies, specifically those companies that usually send or receive a lot of correspondence uh, per day. Now, dear students, the third style of typing is called the indented style. Although the indented style is the oldest form of a business letter, but a lot of people still think it's the most attractive of all letter styles. Those who prefer this style usually like it because it is easier in reading. However, others dislike this style because it wastes the typist time. In the indented style, the inside address is typed in block form. But the paragraphs forming the body of the letter are all indented with six spaces. As in most letters typed in this style, the date appears on the right-hand side. When using this style, the letter is typed in single line spacing. The subject heading is centered two line spacing below the salutation, which in turn begins three line spacing below the inside name and address. The paragraphs are separated by double line spacing. The complementary close is typed to fall equally across the center of the typing line, with the designation similarly centered. Some typists using this style prefer to place the complementary clause to the right of the center rather than in the center. Look at the following example. Now, dear students, you look ahead is an example of an indented style. As you notice, you find that all the main parts of the letter are placed on this style. However, the only difference with this style is that you notice that the complementary clause and the signature are almost in the center of the page. The heading is always placed right in the middle of the letter. And that is the only main part of the letter which is always placed in the middle in all styles of typing. Now, as the name suggests, Indention means that leaving certain spaces at the beginning of each paragraph. Although this is wasting the typist's time, but it's easier for the reader to tell him that we are about to give a new point. Now the second paragraph, starting with another point, will also have certain spaces left. And so will the third paragraphs. And that is why this style, though very old, but considered 
as a good style for readers. The other parts of the letter will be placed on the left side. In case of using secondary parts, we will also place them on the right side of the letter. So the only difference here is about the indention in the paragraphs and the place of the complementary clause and the signature, which is right in the center of the letter. Now, dear students, we come to the second part of the lesson, the punctuation. There are three punctuation styles used in business letters. The first style of punctuation is the open style punctuation. In this style of punctuation, except for the body of the letter in the business letter, in which the usual punctuation marks such as the commas and full stops are used, you will notice a complete absence of punctuation marks in the date, the salutation, the complementary clause, and the ends of lines forming the heading and the inside address. This style is often used now with the block style letter, but is not essential to it. The open style is popular in large companies because it saves time. The second style of punctuation is the closed style punctuation. In this style of punctuation, every line of the heading and the inside address is followed by a comma, except the last line which is followed by a period, full stop. A comma, or sometimes a colon or semicolon, follows the salutation and a comma follows the complementary close. Yet, this style is considered as an old style, so it's rarely used in business letter. The reason is that it takes more time to type the letter with these punctuation marks than without them. The third style of punctuation used in letters is the mixed style punctuation. In the mixed style punctuation, also called the standard punctuation style, a comma follows the salutation and the complementary close and a full stop follows the last line of the inside address. However, the body of the letter in this style is similar to that in the open style punctuation and hence, the usual punctuation marks are also seen here in the body. By this, dear students, we come to the end of the lesson. Let's recap our lesson. We discuss the different styles of typing, such as the full block style and the block style and the indented style. We then explained how to use punctuations in business letter according to the three styles of punctuations, the open, close, and the max style of punctuation. Our next lesson will be about addressing envelope and the use of electronic mail in today's business correspondence. Until then, I wish you all the best. Thank you for watching us. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.